Yes. Now we'll discuss about the patella. This is knee cap. Meaning of the patella is a small plate. It's a small plate-like structure. This is anterior view of the patella. Here is this is apex. It is triangular in shape. This is apex. This is base. This is base and this is lateral border, this is lateral border, this is medial border. Patella is largest sesamoid bone present in tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle the tendon of quadriceps femoris it has base or superior border base or superior border it has medial border lateral border it has apex its shape is like a small plate. This is anterior view. It has two surfaces, anterior surface and posterior surface. So this is anterior surface. Here, this surface is rough. If you turn like this, you can see posterior surface. So this is posterior surface. This is posterior surface. This is anterior surface. This is posterior surface. About one third of the one fourth part of the posterior surface. This is one fourth part of the posterior surface. Is a rough. It is non-articular. It provides the attachment. the ligamentum patelli. So this is ligamentum patelli. And the rest part, upper three-fourth part is divided into two region two portions by a vertical ridge this is a vertical ridge present on posterior surface which divide the surface into this is lateral portion and medial portion in this diagram this is lateral portion this is this is lateral this is medial here this is lateral this is lateral border. If you turn this, this becomes lateral border. This is medial border, it is medial border. So this posterior surface, this portion is upper three-fourth part is articular. It is divided into two parts by a vertical ridge. This is vertical ridge. It is divided into lateral part and medial part. Medial part again. divided by a vertical ridge. This is another ridge. It is ill-defined ridge. So here, this again divides into medial 
and this is medial portion this is part of the medial portion it lies here if you see This is condyles of the femur, lateral condyle, this is medial condyle. Here is position of the pattern. This is position of the pattern. It's like this. Here vestus medialis and vestus lateralis muscle attached. So this is medial portion, this is lateral portion, and this is a ridge. This medial portion again divided by ill-defined ridge into this medial this medial part. So medial portion is again divided by a ridge into two parts. This is medial flange. Now, and the lines, there are also two lines by this, this posterior articular surface is divided into three parts. So, Posterior surface is this is lowermost part, middle, and superior part. During flexion, this part, this is medial portion, medial most portion, this medial most portion, this part articulate with this. During full flexion, this articulate with this. And this number one, this part, the lower most part, articulates with condyle, this area, during extension. This middle portion articulates during slight flexion. And this, this during slight flexion. And this part articulates during mid flexion. Mid flexion. So, this is the articulation between patella and condyles in different part of movement. This is foot during full flexion, during extension, during slight flexion, and during mid flexion. So this is all about the part one of the patella. Thank you. Yes. Now side determination of the patella. First side determination. One thing keep in mind. This is apex. Apex is directed downward. First thing. Direction of the apex. It is directed downward. And apex. A base. Directed upward. Anterior surface is rough. Posterior surface. Upper. Three, four, three fourth part. Is smooth. This is articular surface. And only lower one fourth part is rough. And this lower one fourth part gives attachment to ligamentum patellum. So, keeping these things in mind, you can easily determine the side. And another thing, this posterior surface is divided by vertical ridge into lateral part and medial part. Lateral part is larger, medial part is smaller. If you drop 
the patella on a table, then it rests on this lateral side. Due to larger area of the lateral portion. So this is method how you can determine the side of the patella. Thank you. Yes, now attachments on the patella. Here, this is anterior surface of the patella. Here, on the base, near the base, this anterior surface gives attachment to vastus intermediaris. This is vastus intermediaris. On medial side, along the medial border, this is vastus medialis. Along the lateral border, this is vastus lateralis. And the muscle lies here. Just anterior to the vastus intermediaris, this is rectus femoris. This is rectus femoris. So there are four muscles attached on the anterior surface of the patella. These are quadriceps femoris. These muscles are known as quadriceps femoris. And on posterior surface, this area is articular, which articulates with the condyles and intercondyles area of this femur. And lower one fourth give attachment to ligamentum patelli. So this is all about the attachments on the patella. Thank you. Yes, ossification of the patella. Ossification, part four. This patella ossified in several centers. The centers appears during third to fourth year of the life. And these fuse with each other around the 14th year of the life. Sometimes there is non-union, non-fusion of the some centers. Here is tuberosity, like this. Then, if one center do not fuse with rest of part, this is known as bipartite. Bipartite patella. If another center also, two centers not fuse with uh, rest of patella, then tripart. Tripartite. So this is all about the ossifications. Yes, now applied aspect of the patella. In this diagram, this is femur. This is condition of the femur. This is tibia. This is fibula. And here is position of the patella. This is position of the patella. This is position of the patella. Here muscles are attached. Like this. And here is ligamentum patelli. This is ligamentum patelli. This is tibial tuberosity. Here this attached.
the patella has normal tendency to dislocate and outward because the this is long axis of femur and this is long axis of tibia this is long axis of tibia there is slight angulation between long axis of femur and long axis of tibia this is known as q angle due to this q angle this patella dislocate on lateral side this side so this is all about the applied aspect of the patella